who I am sitting in a hotel with. Slash. <laughs> How was the concert last night? It was great. It was one of the, it was a real, it was, it's, I don't know if you heard anything about it, but, but Miles had the flu last night. Oh no. And it was like hardcore, he could hardly sing. And we went out there and we did this gig and the Dublin crowd was so supportive and it mm -hmm. ended up being one of the best gigs on the tour. Well, you haven't done Belfast yet. Oh, no. and Listen, I've been looking forward. I have no idea what condition Miles is in today, but uh, I'm really excited about this gig because I know the Belfast audience and this is the real deal. So I'm really looking forward to it. So obviously, you know, you've you've moved on. You've done so many things since since GNR. How, <clears throat> how have you found the response in particular to your band now? Because you're playing with Miles, who was in Ultra Bridge. Yeah, that, I mean, the response, I mean, from the get go, as soon as we put the record out, um, and that was, you know, because I didn't know what to expect from that. It was just me doing a solo record. And I pulled all these artists together and, and wrote a bunch of songs. And it was a lot of fun for me, but I didn't have any expectations for it. And I put it out and it was really hugely received and it's been doing really well. And people know all the material. It's great. Tell me this. We want to know, how do you balance family life? You've got a couple of kids and you're married. Is that like, is it hard? Do they realize that their father is Slash? Oh, it's, <laughs> it, you know, it's, it's, it's great and I love it. And at the in, 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 and my kids are amazing and my wife's amazing and all that stuff is very very rock and roll and how mm -hmm. it, that's how it works but it's really hard too mm -hmm. because there, there's constant things pulling and tugging all the time and I'm a pretty dedicated musician so they have to compete with that mm -hmm. and that's that's a that's a slippery slope on a lot of occasions you know do you find that that kind of keeps things normal though well, I mean, I'm the kind of person that is is constantly in or around trouble. Yeah. And it helps keep me grounded because yeah. without a couple of these little things that mm -hmm. go on in my life that keep me a, a certain amount of focus besides music, I'll just get in, in you know, I'd be a mess. <laughs> Some, sometimes it is just purely like, it's a humility thing, isn't it? Yeah, it just keeps you humble, yeah. You know, it's been for the longest, I think the, the, the lifeline that's carried me as long as I've been around has been the actual music that's the the one focus that's kept me from kept me alive you know and and at this point in time it really helps to have people around you that really don't give if you're a mm -hmm. you know rock star or mm -hmm. whatever it is and you have to sort of deal with them on a level that's more normal yeah. you know and person to person and about real feelings and real emotions and real all that you know it's easy I mean rock and roll is definitely escapism and it's one thing to be a fan which I'm a, a bigger fan than I am a musician but it's another thing to I mean there's a sense of unreality in that you can be as a musician just get lost in that escapism mm -hmm. and get away from any kind of responsibilities having to do with reality but it only works for so long <laughs> so sorry kids <laughs> uh, no well well it's the truth isn't it a lot of people want to know about this hat thing are you gonna pick up a hat in Belfast do you think I have the one hat you know, so no, I'm not looking for any more hats. <laughs> I love your hair. I'm so jealous, I have to say. I always wanted curly hair. So always yeah, well, I always wanted straight hair. So. Uh, you always want what you don't have. Yeah, yeah. Thank you so much for taking time out and having a chat. It's cool. Well, you're very sweet. Thanks a lot, Slash. Right, thank you.